Welcome back to Hellblade. Senua's Sacrifice. There's another shard over this way. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. The second son of Odin, he was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him, only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Is this back to the other place? Oh, that is so cool. So the bridge is destroyed in this version. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Ah, the symbol's in the other world, isn't it? That must be why they're having me go back here. Dark world? You let you destroy. You should listen to your father when you have a child. 
dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further, to peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glue. And Senno explored new paths into the unknown. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm. Whatever they do, the gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. We spend our lives searching for the meaning in life, and we ask the gods for guidance. But the truth to life is revealed when we can face death without fear. How can the gods understand us if they refuse to die themselves? I didn't actually see that face. Oh, now I see it. But yeah, I didn't see it before. I just focused because I thought there must be something here. Ah, I think I found the symbol. See that light on the wall there? Yeah, it must be from up above. Blind god, Hood, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking pollen. Hood says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Hood throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. This hood is slain. Just like it strangled him. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, 
but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. That of Sarah and her past. Do you know? And Dillian. Was it worth it? Your future. I need to reinitiate the the Druth thing because I kind of got interrupted by me looking at the door. So they're obviously in between both worlds. And oh yeah, and I just realized how kind of obvious the symbolism here. These these two worlds. They just talked about the two worlds: the old world, the world of darkness, and the new one, caught between them, which is exactly what's happening here with me. the symbols aren't appearing? Usually when you stop, they appear. Oh, there we go. Yes, that is it, but it's from the other side that I need to look at it. He's the reason she keeps fighting. How do I get over there? Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say... Oh, I didn't know that would interrupt it. Whoops. So I need to get over there. In the dark world, it's open, but the walkway is broken there. I don't know what to do about that. Ah, here's the up symbol. Oh, I think I see what to do. I'm still a little bit unclear on whether opening doors in one world opens them in another. Which I guess is probably why I didn't think of this, but now that I've opened both the door there and the door there, it's the walkway that's in the middle that's broken in the dark world. So now I can probably just use those doors to go around it. I'm guessing. Nobody will love her now. Can you remember what love feels like? Look what happens to the things she loves. Yeah. They stay open. And 
with that, we can put down this bridge, go back to the other world, and then get the final symbol. gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. You kill the things that are most precious to you. Well, that's a wee bit dangerous. Dillian! Here we go. There he is. Dillian never much cared for the underworld. I looked dimly upon the druids, like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms. She had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly. The darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? But you give up the beautiful world thing. You, and only you, can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. You're disappearing one memory. Every time you remember, it disappears. They're going to take everything. They're not yours anymore. They're going to take everything you have. The memories of ghosts. They belong to the gods, not to you. They're eating you from the inside. They want to kill you. They want to crush it. They want your body. They want your soul. They want to. Northland. 
say that they're all father, Odin. Give his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness, there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. That way, the controller rumbles. Yeah, only that way. The others, the voices, they've gone. I'm still here. Okay, listen to your own breath. Feel it rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. Here it is. Lost it for a second. I think I'm somewhere else now. The breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? It's loudest here. I want to. 
Seems there's no escaping the past in this place. So she's forced to relive it. To what end? There's a water. I can't go on this way. Then look for another way. the house. <gasps> I don't know what's inside. Don't be afraid. feel a rumbling over in that direction. That's where the creature is, isn't it? It's to my left. Or is that where I need to go? I think that's where I need to go. Oh god. I need to get behind it. Can't see it. Can't see it. It can't see me. I can kind of see it though. Is it moving at all? Doesn't seem to be. Death. The 
darkness is testing you. You are in control. As well. Don't turn back. You're getting close. Did you help me? She could spend hours, days even, trapped within herself. You see me? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere, with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, Someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me back. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. Dillion was helping me. And a sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we'll grab the sword and the tree.